body whack, give it a bone. This old man came wrong. Playing fetch with your pet is a meaningful occupation for many people. It is fun, a good form of exercise, and helps you and your pet to socialise. This is Alex. He's brought his new dog Ted to the park so that they can play fetch. Alex hasn't thrown a ball much recently, and after repeatedly throwing it, has, de has developed pain in the shoulder of his throwing arm. The pain is really impacting his enthusiasm to get outside and engage with an exercise Ted. To understand why this is happening, we must first understand the biomechanics of the shoulder during an overarm throw. The overarm throw is a multi-planar movement that requires various body segments to work in a well-timed sequence, transferring energy into the ball and launching it as far as possible. Movements at the glenohumeral joint include abduction slash adduction, flexion slash extension, internal and external rotation, and horizontal ab and adduction. The glenohumeral joint is perfect for throwing as this action requires a large range of motion with multiple degrees of freedom. However, this mobility comes at the cost of having reduced stability. To combat the instability of this joint, the shoulder relies heavily on the surrounding muscles to stabilise the head of the humerus within the glenoid fossa. These muscles are called rotator cuffs and they consist of the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor and subscapularis muscles which all have their own different roles in securing the glenohumeral joint. As the forces acting on the shoulder are much greater during the overarm throw, these muscles have to work very hard to keep the shoulder joint stable, resulting in tightness and or inflammation after repetitive use. Furthermore, during a throw, when the arm is abducted, it reduces the space between the acromion and the greater tubercle of the humerus. Since the supraspinatus sits in this space, the two structures would pinch on the tendon, leading to inflammation or possibly a tear. Based on this information, we think that Alex has impinged the tendon of his supraspinatus and is experiencing inflammation at the shoulder, hence why he is experiencing pain at the shoulder. To conclude, practising good throwing techniques, Regularly stretching and doing exercises to strengthen the shoulder means that your shoulder will remain healthy and you should be able to play with your dog forever. Give it all a bow.